at the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his betrothed, Urborus made the mask which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. So, no one's ever used the mask? No, but... So you don't actually know if it works, how it works? Of course I do. The myths tell me. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. I'm not about to justify what Yennefer did. Then don't. But try to understand her. She's not doing this to anger you. She's doing it for Ciri. I know there are maternal feelings at play. But this is no excuse. No justification. The mask of Urboros belongs to Skellige and should be used for the good of the Isles. If Yennefer uses it now, it shall lose its power, not to mention. Ah. What was that? No. Yennefer's used the mask. Was that unicorns damn it yen i saw the foglets i meant how they get here the power of the mask summoned what now the mask reveals the past but only in certain places places where past events left a strong magical imprint take it want me to wear it yes i'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes gonna read my mind again you object you do it whenever you want anyway no harm in it, then, is there? 
Let's go. Already found the first spot. This is the spot. Put on the mask from it. The woman was sick. How can you know? The way she moved, like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come, let's find the next spot. explosion of some sort so powerful that even the echo was dangerous i wager it destroyed the forest but siri and her companion weren't harmed i saw them escape let's see where to place is creepy i don't like it nor do i anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving i know what you're thinking but don't worry siri can take care of herself See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to Felon. Any chance you can figure out where Ciri's companion fled to? His portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come. Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you brought down on us! If someone's death were to help you find Ciri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Just so happens I'm willing to do anything for some people. Everyone else, everything else be damned, is that it? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. 
I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You! You I'll deal with later. So? I've got a feeling we've found something interesting. Armor's clean. No blood, no sword nicks. Ciri's friend must have... What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a rider of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? It's a long story that involves the Elder Blood, Siri's abilities. Did she, perchance, inherit her mother's skills? Siri can do much more than her mother could. But right now, we're much more interested in what the Wild Hunt was doing on Hindisfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the Cataclysm struck here on Ard Skelling. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women, and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Wait, can't we go together, right now? But you detest being teleported. Don't exactly like potions either, but I drink them when I have to. <laughs> you also drink them when there's no need at all. Very well. Let's go. Stay close to me. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Raised huts and fresh graves. Hmm, this must be it. Gathering of some kind. We've come at a bad time. There's no good time to talk about the wild hunt. Ritual of some kind. We'll have to wait. We'll do no such thing. Dear sisters, pardon the interruption, but we've an important matter to discuss. Can you not see we're commemorating the dead? So? And we're looking for someone who's still alive. Please, this is urgent. <sighs> then speak. We're looking for a young woman, name of Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. I'm sorry. She is not here. Unless she lies in a grave. That is, I do not recall one by that name. But I've buried so many, I may have forgotten. This, this Siri, uh, has she a scar here on her cheek? Yes, yes, what happened to her? Don't know. Saw her but for a moment, right before, before it all. She was in the stables with Craven. A thousand curses upon him. This Craven you mentioned, does he have a name? He did. Until the elders struck him from the saga of ancestors. It's as if he has ceased to exist. The lore forbids anyone from touching him, speaking to him, even uttering his name. What did he do to deserve that? He fled from the wild hunt. He alone. We need to talk to him, even if it's not in keeping with your customs. You've come too late. He went to the garden to fight Morkvag. Morkvag? What's that? Who, you mean? The vilest man ever to inhabit Skellige. Nothing was ever sacred to him. He attacked his own clan's lands, took gold from Nilfgaard, killed children, pregnant women. Mm -hmm. Know the type. They said he feared only one thing, the wrath of the gods. Morkvag sought to prove how wrong they were. So he sailed to Hindisfjall to ransack the goddess's garden. This was over a decade ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his way. He thrust a blade between her ribs and cast her down in the mud. As her lifeblood left her, she cursed him. And Morkvarg transformed into a beast. A curse? 
A monster? You've got some work to do. I can get rid of Morkvark. Don't know what he's turned into, but a silver sword should do the trick. It's not that simple. There have been those who have bested Morkvark, yet he always returns. So, it's a complex curse. Meaning I need more information. I understand. But I've told you all I know. Speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He was in the garden when Morkvarg and his men attacked. He saw what happened. Of all the pilgrims there at the time, he alone escaped with his life. He settled in Larvik. You'll find him there at the landing, provided he's not out to sea when you arrive. Where is this holy garden? Not far from here. North. We cultivated healing herbs there once. And now? Now we walk only as far as the tree the goddess planted. We place our offerings and make our pleas before it. Those who venture below remain in the garden forever. A coward who willingly seeks battle? Am I the only one who sees the contradiction? That's why he did it. Craven knew he would prove the elders wrong only if he killed Morkvarg. And thus regain his honor and his name. Trial by ordeal. Very skeleton. I do not mock your laws. Please also respect ours. Thanks for your help. I understand you intend to enter the garden. I dislike it when foreigners enter the sacred grounds. But so be it. Custom demands pilgrims make an offering of their own blood before the tree. Craven surely did so. Unless he lacked not only courage, but respect for Freyr as well. You needn't worry about us. Geralt and I always give the gods the respect they are due. I recognize your type a mile away. Morgan, what are you gonna do in this bike house? They're not coming back. Worried this trail might have gone cold. Even if Craven's dead, we'll manage. How exactly? You'll see when the time comes. You could stand to be nicer sometimes. I suppose. But then I wouldn't be the woman you fell in love with, would I? <sighs> my, my. That must be more. A bite. Just one morsel. <laughs> one piece. A crumb. Uh, food. Uh, food. Uh. <coughs> Shite. Not, not again. Not again. <laughs> look at me. So, where should we start? Let's go to that tree the sisters mentioned. Plan to bleed yourself for the goddess? Not necessarily, but Craven did. We just might pick up his scent. Craven was here. Look, the impression. Kneeled down on one knee and cut himself to make the offering. Bloodstains, see them? No. I may be inhumanly beautiful, but I don't have superhuman senses. Not like you. Which is why you should stay up here. No offense, but in that undergrowth and mud, you'd be like a... Ball and chain? Planned to say it gentler, but yeah, that's basically what I had in mind. Fine. We'll do as you say. If the need arises, I can cast spells from up here. Fine. See you later then. Don't get hurt. Remember, I need you if I'm to find Siri. Oh, come. I was just teasing. Fool. I need you. Period. Better? Hmm. Better. Something down there. Can't see a thing. Craven's blood. Flowing profusely. Trail's clear. Should lead me to him.
monster tracks. Running, chasing something. Looks like Morkvark got bored of sneaking around. Attacked. that. Gotta go down, provided I can open the sluice. Mechanism looks pretty standard. One lever to choose the sluice gate, the other to work it. Symbol of Freya. Starting to envy you. Wish to hear a story. Honestly, rather just kill you. You know, I will return. Don't keep me waiting. Is the curse uh, makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle uh, till I drop? Uh, uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me, and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. What a witcher ought to.
footprints lead to the well. Guess Craven didn't want to be eaten, preferred to drown. Rooms. So I'm wet under again. Hey, can you hear me? Geralt! You scared me. Sorry, didn't mean to. I hope not. Let me know once you find Craven. Craven's blood. Craven's blood. I've seen rot fiends in better condition than this. Shit. Fine, scrape together what you can and haul the bits up here. Yen, there's no point. There's no point in discussing this through a grate. We'll talk when you get here, all right? That's Yen, charming as ever. Come on, someone wants to meet you. Putrefaction set in, but the vocal cords are intact. We might still get something out of him. Doesn't look like the talkative type. Anyone can be made to talk, even a corpse. One must simply know how. Thought necromancy was strictly forbidden. So is premarital sex, but I'm not about to be bothered by such foolish. Any ingredients for the spell? Hmm, the blood of a newborn, a virgin's tongue, and the eye of a newt. Mind trying again without the sarcasm? I don't need a thing. I'm a sorceress, not a village herbalist. All I need is energy. A great deal of energy. We're very lucky this place is saturated with magic. It's also considered sacred. Priestesses will be furious if you use the garden's power to revive a corpse. All the more reason to get it over with before they realize what's happening. Work. Selene, Selene, Dufrain. Selene, Selene, Davidar. of Lofferton. No, I... Uh, I have... I am... We're looking for Siri. Ashen hair, green eyes. Have you seen her? She, she's... She, she I don't care about that. What happened to her? What was she doing here? Speak! No. Speak! Ah. Speak! 